welcome to another episode of Sebastian's Hits. Today I have a really fun one for everybody. I ended up getting a really awesome, super nostalgic 90s toy lot for only $20. So let's go over everything that I ended up getting. We'll start with um, the oldest figure in the lot, and that is this Peter Venkman Ghostbusters figure, original from 1984. See if you can see that on there. And even him in this shape, he even sells for about 5 to a good $10. I've even seen him go all the way up to 15 bucks. So, really awesome to own an original Ghostbusters figure. Next, we'll go over the one Star Wars item I ended up getting, which is this really awesome Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper alarm clock. It's from original from 1997 and it's a full alarm clock and it's also one of those games where it has like a little sensor built into it right here and it actually comes with Han Solo's blaster and then you can use the blaster of course and there's like a full game that you can play with the stormtrooper and everything uh he sells for about 15 to 20 bucks and uh i've definitely seen listings and very odd arrangements recently just because the shipping's so high but still i've definitely seen him loose for a good 20 bucks all day uh, next, we'll just go over the couple of Power Ranger items I ended up getting. I did end up getting a Red Ranger Walkie Talkie. Um, this uh, usually comes in a set with also a Black Ranger Walkie Talkie, So, but this is only just the Red Ranger one. Um, I would love to then get the Black one to match it up or at least, uh, you know, find something else to match up uh, along with it. And then I also ended up getting this awesome Blue Ranger Billy plush. And he is in great shape. Super awesome. Super nostalgic for the time. Usually these are missing their belts or things like that. And he usually uh, comes like around like all day like ten dollars for all of these of course the red one comes with a premium but even the other ones they come around ten dollars of course with packaging they obviously come higher so then moving on to the massive amount of batman toys that i ended up getting so first we'll go over the giant batman forever batmobile now, unfortunately, it is missing the back wings here, missing the wings that are along um, the wheel bearings here. Uh, did come with the Batman Forever figure, so that's pretty cool. Um, missing the little back piece here, but it does light up and everything if you put it into the vehicle. Of course, the vehicle fully lights up, but it does have the torpedo up front here. So awesome that it actually does include that. And then... Um, in the video, you'll see listings that I've also included. So as you can see, even parts sell for, you know, 10, 15, $20 sometimes. But even this guy in this condition sells for a decent amount of money. So very exciting, very awesome. And then I did end up also getting these two odd Batman the Animated Series Batmans on motorcycles. I don't know if these ran along a track or if they were a part of a set or something like that. He does move up and down, but that's about it. You can't take him off or anything like that off of there. So I did come with a set of two of those. We're moving on. I do have to show this off. So I do love this Riddler figure. This is one of the few figures that actually comes with all the accessories and everything for it. But I do love that, uh, you know, that's the figure, you know. I mean, what else can you say? And, and it, it actually does work. It does shoot. So, but I just think it's hilarious that uh, the uh, stand for it and the way it grapples along, it's, it, it's like that. Hilarious. Old 90s toys. Now, I didn't have any other bad guys, but I did get a couple of Robins. So here's one Robin right here. 
He just has this little chest plate, no other accessories or anything like that. And then I also have this Robin. Now I'm not sure whether or not this Robin is correct with these accessories. I think it's not. Um, but this is, you know, this is how it was in in the entire lot and everything. Um, looks like some sort of underwater torpedo action going on. Doesn't have the torpedo, but it is complete like that. And then I really like this Batman, personally. I thought this Batman looked really, really cool. Again, it has the full armor and everything as well. Where you can, like, fully take him off. And there's Bruce Wayne underneath. I just thought that he was pretty cool. There's the full cloth cape. And then we also have this old school 90s Batman. I think I remember actually having this one as a kid. So I remember the entire up and down x-ray vision, I believe it was called, or something like that. I also have this ninjutsu Batman. I mean, you know, as we all know from Batman Begins, Batman is a ninja and that's how he was trained. I just love the whole samurai type of ninja type of attire for him. Next we have, I don't, I'm not really sure, maybe medieval Batman, maybe, possibly. It is uh, an original Kenner one. So, 94. I just find it interesting. So maybe medieval Batman or so. A lot of these Batman figures, I, when I was looking them up, a lot of them I could see just being in just lots of like 10, 15, 20 of them. Usually around 35 to 40 bucks. Nothing too crazy. I do like the color scheme on that one. And I do have this giant Batman as well. He's a little bit more normal sized. DC, China, comics. Not sure if he's part of a set or anything like that. And then I also have these two Robins, which I actually remember as a kid as well. Here's the Robin on the actual bike itself. And then I have an, another Robin bike, and this one actually has the little launcher with it that you would pull. And then the bike would take off after you put it down and everything. So about all together, about, I would say, oh, I completely forgot. One little lone Superman guy out there as well. Nothing too crazy. Again, kind of sucks that a lot of these guys don't have their accessories because normally they would come with a whole bunch of them and everything. But it's about around 80 bucks or so worth and about uh, and all the Batman stuff. The cool thing is was definitely the Batmobile. Didn't I have this one as a kid? I actually had the Batman uh, Returns Batmobile. This one's the Batman Forever one. And then moving on to the Marvel stuff as well. So here we have a Fantastic Four thing. That is an original Toy Biz one as well. And you'll see on the bottom there how much he's selling for. I believe around 10 bucks or so loose still from the last listing that I saw. And I do have a Silver Surfer. And that is also an original one from 97, Toy Biz. No, uh, no, uh surfboard unfortunately but it is the original 97 silver surfer figure and probably uh well, let's see i forgot about little dr strange he was off in the corner he's not worth too much but still awesome he's missing his cape and he has a little, little sash that comes down here as well and probably the big scores is definitely all the original spider-man stuff so here we have an original Spider-Man animated series figure. Let's see if I can get the light there. There we go. 
original Toy Biz, one of the original Spider-Man animated series figures. Doesn't even have the little hand movements to do the webbing. Has just the normal C grips. And I also have another one, unfortunately. The little web action is broken off from it, but what you would do is you would pull it fully in. And then it would be a little mechanism, and you can see it would shoot out. So unfortunately, the little web in there is broken, but still cool nonetheless, original Spider-Man. And probably the really, really big hits of the entire lot is this original Maximum Carnage. Carnage figure has two of the accessories, missing one of them, but it does have two of them. And as you can see, he still fetches a pretty penny, still loose even. And then we have the black and white suit Spider-Man as well. He also, of course, came in an entire um, line. I believe it was called like Web Layer or something like that. I think I remember when I was a kid. And it had um, a whole bunch of accessories and stuff with him as well. But even, like I said, still loose. Original Spidey figs. And then, of course, I think the big hit of the lot. And the big nostalgic guy for me, because I definitely had him as a kid, is the doppelganger Spider-Man. Just an awesome figure in general. Love the storyline in the animated series. Just super cool to own. Really brings back memories. Having him, and then I did have, not this Spider-Man, but I did have the other one that has the web-slinging hand. So super nostalgic for me, that's for sure. All right. So as you can see, with everything, I mean, I only paid 20 bucks for everything. And doing the totals from doing the listings for everything, it's about $200 worth. So 10x my money. So cannot go wrong at all. Well, if you like today's video... Um, if you could please do all the YouTube stuff, I know Spidey Doppelganger would de definitely appreciate you doing it. And like always, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.